Well, today, we're going to make a chicken sandwich. Now, I got a little inspiration from a man, Mr. Malcolm Reed, his last video. I'll try to link it here, or video before it, the Dirty Bird Chicken Bite. They use that rubber out there. You know it goes good with Mojo. So, uh, let's just get started here by trimming up this chicken. Now, we're going to take off any chunky fat off these thighs and uh, square it up a little bit. I want them all to be about the same size so they will cook evenly. Plus, I'm working on the right meat to bun ratio. This is what it looked like right here once you fold it over. Perfect size. I didn't weigh it, so I couldn't tell you what it was. Now, he went in with some hot sauce. This is all I had, so that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to get us some of this here mojo chicken. Now, I spelt chicken with a B, so just overlook that. And uh, give her a good... Healthy dose. And you know what goes good with Mojo when that's that killer hog's hot? Flip them over and do the same thing. Now trust me on this whole Mojo beef chicken rub thing. It's really, really good. All right, repeat the process on the other side. And grab you some pickles. Now, these seem to be the ones that will work for me because of the size. And some thin cut bacon. All we're going to do now is put them together. Take your chicken. Fold it in half to make that perfect little plump pillow of perfection. And I put a pickle on the bottom and a pickle on the top. Then just wrap it in bacon. Now that pickle, that vinegar in that pickle is going to help tenderize that chicken a little bit and make it very, very delicious. And as he said, everybody needs their vegetables. There you have it. Bacon wrap pickle chicken. All right, hit that top a little bit more of that mojo chicken beef. And uh, let's go put it on the grill. Now set up whatever you're cooking on for indirect cooking. I'm just firing up this Fogo and this little s, &S portable. That's all I need. It's small. I don't have much chicken. And for wood or smoke, we're going to use a little hickory and cherry. Make sure you spray your racks down. That way nothing sticks because that bacon will stick. And get them chickens on there. Now, it'll be hard to cook this direct because you know that bacon's flammable. It'll burn up everything, so that's why we're doing this. Uh, that's it. It's on there. Now all we got to do is cook it. Now you want this dial right here to say about 350. You want this half open vent to be over the top of that chicken. That way that heat and everything can run across the top and the bottom and then come out this vent on this side because if you put it the other way, it's just going to go straight up through it. All righty. We're going to let that run for about an hour, so we're going to make up a sauce. Now, over there at the how to barbecue right empire they go on about mayonnaise which one's better i don't know mayonnaise mayonnaise it's not my favorite so we're just going to try to make it taste a little better we're going to add about a quarter cup mayonnaise to about a tablespoon of this here spicy brown mustard a tablespoon of this here regular mustard a couple tablespoons of your favorite barbecue sauce favorite however you want to roll with it some of this uh maple honey we're going about what two tablespoons of that a smidgen of sriracha, and some fresh squeezed pickle juice. Make sure you, you lube up your table there with it too. Everybody needs a little pickle juice in their life. Give her a steer, and there you have it. And speaking of there you have it, <laughs> I just Mr. Miyagi that fly. You got pretty good reflexes there, don't you? Yeah, I'm telling you. Pretty good. All righty. Uh, move on to an hour later. There's your chicken. How you know it's done? Because the bacon's done. Pickles look done, and just to show you, that there chicken is done. 180. That means dark meat is done. Alrighty, time to get it going. We're going to get us a plate, get us our sauce, get the best rolls I know of right here, especially for this meat to bun ratio. Open her up. These Martin potato buns, perfect for this recipe. Let's get on that little plump pillow and I hit it with that mayonnaise base sauce. There you have it. There's my chicken sandwich. Get her folded in here. Take a bite. Come on, son. These nice people don't have all day. For the taste test, <laughs> let me tell you. This right here is money. Y'all know my view on chicken. I'm not a fan of chicken. They, I am. Let me tell you what. Chick-fil-A, if you're watching, give me a call. We'll talk about Jesus and about how we're going to get this here perfect sandwich on your menu this is awesome i can't i mean ah and i go ahead and tell you 
I'm going to take back that there uh, comment I made a while ago about mayonnaise being just mayonnaise. This sauce here would go good on a flip-flop. All righty, that is it. I'm done. Please make this. I appreciate you. Yes, I do. And Mojo is out.